Today we're going to be talking about different lighting technologies and briefly describe how each one operates. To the left, you've got the Speedotron 400 strobe. Over here is the RE750 halogen. To the right, right here, you've got Compact Fluorescent by Linko Flora. And over here is the tubular design by Kinoflow. Over here is an LED by Light Panel, a one by one. And last but not least is the RE HID. Now before going into greater detail, let's quickly discuss how much each of these costs. Now the Speedotron is going to cost you about $3,000. That includes this clunky uh, power supply. The RE750 is going to cost you around $700. Now this is due to the HPL halogen technology. Just means the bulbs will last a little bit longer. Next up is the light panels LED. This will be about $1,600. And uh, <laughs> the uh, RE HMI is going to cost you around $7,000. A good workout. Next up you've got the fluorescent lights, you've got the Kino Flow tubular design, this will be about $1400 and finally the compact fluorescent by Linko Flora uh, will be roughly $300. And now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each lighting system. Strobes, extremely powerful, very bright, can overpower daylight, unfortunately not a continuous light and has cycle times. Halogen, Great for a spotlight fill, very bright, uh, but also very, very hot, can pose a fire or burn hazard. LED, extremely light, very easy to travel with, but an emerging technology. The light output still isn't there for the money you're paying. HMI, daytime balanced, Hollywood, loves these. Fortunately, very, very expensive and clunky, requires its own ballast to operate. Fluorescent. Cool lights, continuous. Uh, with the tubular design, they're dimmable. Unfortunately, if the ballast goes out, the whole light ceases to operate. Unlike the compact fluorescent ones, if the light bulb goes out, you simply replace the bulb. Unfortunately, they're not dimmable. And finally, here is the light output comparison. All the lights are positioned equidistant, about two feet away from the backdrop. From left to right, you have the Linko Flora, Light panels one by one, the Kino Flow Diva Light 400, RE HMI 1.2K, and the RE 750. The strobe is not in comparison because it's not a continuous light. Now, for the last test, we will close down the aperture to demonstrate which unit has the most light intensity. As you can see, starting with the brightest, we've got the RE HMI 1.2K. Next up is the RE Halogen 750. We move on to the Linko Flora, followed by the Kino Flow Diva Light 400, and finally the light panels one by one. Thanks for watching Linko TV. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Linko would like to offer you the use of their studios with all of your lighting equipment needs for all aspiring photographers and models free of charge. They are located in Santa Fe Springs, California. And for more details, feel free to email them below at the address. See you soon.